Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm sharing with you guys my emergency stockpile grocery haul. I actually did need some groceries, but you guys know with all of the chaos going around all across the country as of now, everybody's kind of in a panic mode and shopping like crazy and stocking up and the shelves are literally clearing out. So I figured I needed to hit the store up before it was too late and we were left with nothing. So I'm just gonna share with you guys kinda how I'm preparing to kinda get through the next two weeks. School in Illinois has officially been canceled for the next two weeks, officially starting on Tuesday and Lakin starts spring break April 1st. They technically said school's gonna be out until at least the 31st, but then he starts spring break, so literally he's gonna be out of school for the next month. So a lot of this stuff is things that we're going to need anyways to get through whether the chaos becomes more than what it is or if everybody's just panicking and freaking out. I'd rather be prepared instead of not being prepared and then something happening and we don't have enough to kind of get through. So if you guys were kind of wanting to see what I got to stock up on and what we're going to do to prepare um, to kind of get ourselves through the next two weeks of having extra kids home and all of that, definitely watch this video all the way through. Make sure you go check out my friend Brittany's video as soon as you're done watching this video. Go and see her grocery haul and kind of see what she shopped for. I'm not sure if she kind of went all crazy and stocked up or if she just did a typical haul, but either or, I know you guys like seeing what we buy, what we eat and all of that good stuff, so definitely go say hi and let her know that I sent you guys. So we're gonna dive right into this video, you guys, and FYI, I know a lot of people are kinda going a little crazy with some of the stuff they're buying, getting a little excessive. It is what it is. We all need to just respect how people feel. Some people might take it a little bit more than others, and panic as you shall say or buy in a panic but at the end of the day i think we're just doing what we feel like is best for our families so starting off we have our stockpile of potato chips for the kids this literally was all that was left you guys um they literally had like three bags of cheeto puffs so i got the party size that's pretty much all they had left was party size of stuff so i got the cheetos for the kids cool ranch and then a big bag of regular classic lays and then i did grab this 28 pack of individual chips for the kids i'm gonna probably hide these because they'll literally try to eat these and these will not last us two weeks they probably will barely last us the week for the meats i already have tons of chicken in the freezer so that's why you won't see any chicken in this haul so i wanted to mostly stack up on ground beef and some steak and like shrimp so i can incorporate some other meals for the next two weeks with this along with the chicken that we already have this literally was the last package of deli meats literally the last one and by luck it was the kind that khalif eats so we were lucky there and then I grabbed a thing of cheese since we're almost out of that. We needed it anyways. I got me some ground sausage, not realizing that I forgot biscuits, but I got bread, so there's my bread. I can just put my sausage gravy over bread, toast it. It's the same thing, it tastes just as good. So these were the two breads I got. Again, there was no bread. This is literally all that was left. We've eaten this kind. Um, I think the other one I normally get is oh it starts with the l i can't remember it's like lewis i want to say we get the half a loaves so this was a little bit more expensive but i was just trying to get some type of bread and this is all that was left otherwise rye we won't eat that so this is what we ended up with we will eat this kind so that's a plus and we love the sweet hawaiian so I grabbed three packages of ground beef. This is literally all that was left. I guess this is the ground beef chuck, excuse me, whatever the difference is. Um, I think it's just the leanness that matters um, by that ratio. So I grabbed three of these. Otherwise it was like the same pack of lean one for like $18 and I don't care how much we need meat, I'm not paying $18 for a two pounds of ground beef, no way. <laughs> And then I grabbed um, just two packages of hot dogs for the kids. This big thing of uh, chopped up beef steak. Um, I'll split it in half, put it in freezer bags. So this will be more than one meal. This will be definitely two meals. So I'll probably do um, a stir fry, maybe some tacos, fajitas, something. I'll come up with different things to do with that. 
a big thing of chicken nuggets. Well, these are actually like chicken tender nuggets. This was all they had. All of the chicken nuggets, every single brand was gone. So this is what I was left with. I hope the kids eat it because last time I stepped out of the comfort zone and tried something new, they wouldn't eat it. But it is what it is. We shall see. Three different things of cheeses. So I just got the Colby and Monterey Jack and a mozzarella and then an Italian blend of cheese. Three different, well, these are not different. Three packs of shrimp. These are my favorite ones that I like to get because they're already peeled, divined, and there's no tail. So all you have to do is unthaw them. They are raw, but I cook shrimp anyway. So I feel like even when I get the kind that's already cooked, I'm still cooking it. So I just get it this way and it's only $5 a bag. And you get quite a bit in there compared to the other kind that's cooked. Two different pizzas. So I just got uh, four meats and then a, just a plain sausage. They literally had no produce, you guys. No bananas, no grapes. The kids love these little halo uh, oranges, so I grabbed them this bag, and it was like $7. I was crying inside when I picked it up, but that was the only fruit, so yeah, literally, that's the only thing of fruit I got in this whole grocery haul. Don't come for me, but during the chaos that we're going through, what do you expect? Two bags of french fries. These are pretty cheap, they're only like a dollar something. They're french fries, the kids eat them, they don't care what the brand is. Kinda stocked up on the kids' donuts. These will literally probably last us barely three days. The kids love donuts, this is something I always buy. Normally I buy two at a time, so I just doubled up and got two extra ones. So hopefully it'll get us through the week. Two boxes of macaroni and cheese. This is literally all that was left. It was insane how fast everything was going, but I get this brand. Otherwise, um, Velveeta, it doesn't matter to me. It tastes the same. So I just grabbed two of those. I think I already have two in my pantry, so we'll just have two extra to get us through. Two packs of taco seasoning. Canned goods, what was left? Uh, I just grabbed a couple sweet corn, the cream style kind. And you'll notice all of these are different brands because when I say this is all that was left, this is all that was left. Two cans of sliced carrots. I grabbed one of these. The diced tomatoes. I already have some of this in my pantry, so I didn't need to grab more than that. The two pack of the Alfredo. I like to spruce up my Alfredo mix. Whenever I don't make it from scratch, I just buy the jar and then I just add in cheese, half and half and all of that just to kind of give it my more of a home style taste and not cans taste, if that makes any sense. Two big things of green beans. Three of these pasta sauces. I normally, oh my gosh, I didn't even realize. And they're different. Six cheese, not one I would ever get, but I didn't even pay attention. Oops. And then this one is roasted garlic. And then another six cheese. So some of the pastas I got, this is the only thing that they had. I got some jumbo shells for stuffed shells. Maybe I'll do like a, a stuffed shrimp Alfredo shell dinner then i got two other boxes one thing of vegetable oil now for my seasonings i did actually need seasonings so i grabbed some of my favorites this uh garlic salt blend this is my favorite if you've watched any of my um other grocery hauls or a couple of my cooking videos i always use this and then this is my must too if you guys have not tried this seasoning it's so good. Makes your meat so flavorful. I'm trying to get it to focus. There we go. So since I normally get that, I wanted to try one of the other Kingsford brands. So this is Garlic and Herb. Wanted to give it a try. I figured it's going to be good. And it's $3. Pretty decent size. It lasts. Usually this lasts me about through the whole month. But I literally had like a drop of this left. So I grabbed that one. And then I wanted to give this one a try. One can of some baked beans. I believe I already have another one in the pantry, so that's why I only grabbed one. I grabbed one more of these. These are my go-to potatoes. If you don't like the instant potatoes, get these. These are my favorite because I feel like they taste the most uh, fresh and homemade versus the other. They kind of taste like cardboard. <laughs> these are my go-to potatoes. I have a couple of these already in the pantry, hence why I only got one. I didn't go crazy with it. Some Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. 
Now some more pantry stuff here. So the kind of the stock up is real with this portion. Goldfish, my kids love goldfish. They go through these things like crazy. So I just grabbed three bags of these. I think I already have one in my pantry, not sure. These I actually got from the Dollar Tree. They literally had no noodles anywhere. Anywhere, literally. The Dollar Tree had these for five packs. So I just grabbed these when I was in there grabbing some batteries. And then some more snack stuff I got. I just grabbed one box of the Cheez-Its because I think we still have a little bit left over in the pantry. Different crackers. I actually got these from Dollar Tree. I had four packs. The kids already got into them. These will not last long. <laughs> Uh, pop tarts so i just got one of the brown sugar frosted cherry and then oh that was strawberry this is frosted cherry and then we love our cereal bars so i got two of the big boxes i got the mixed berry one and then the apple cinnamon and then the not so good stuff i figured we might as well add in some not so good stuff some nutter butter bars <laughs> if you watched one of my last videos i asked how do you guys pronounce these or what do you guys call these because we all call them different even though the box clearly says one thing I don't think I ever call them that some Ritz crackers the garlic butter these are life these are our favorites the only kind we will buy if you have not tried these you need to snatch them up hopefully they're not out of stock at your grocery store but probably are this was something different the kids love the zebra cakes but I seen that they had the zebra cake rolls kind of reminded me of the Swiss rolls so I just grabbed them two boxes of those so, so they can have a good treat my coffee creamer this is literally all that they had so i grabbed this so if i don't got anything i got coffee big thing of apple juice that was actually from dollar general one box of cereal because i did just buy another box recently so juices i kind of stocked up on juices normally i buy like three of these at a time so i just got a couple more than usual this was actually from dollar general too because walmart was completely out of these so i grabbed those from dollar general two gallons of milk and then i do have three more of the minute made apple juices for the kids so some of the household essentials last week after samira actually got out of the hospital i did stock up on all of like the sanitizing and cleaning products this was just some extra stuff i decided to get since we're close to being out of it paper plates is a must so i grabbed one of these because i think we're getting pretty low we have some but we're low some freezer bags since i want to split up my meat and get it all stocked up in the freezer i needed to grab some of those so i just got the smaller ones i usually take these for like work and then i got the big gallon size of the freezer 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 bags i grabbed another thing of clorox bleach there's probably like none anywhere this was from dollar general actually they had very few because i know everywhere else it was completely out because if all else fails bleach literally will get the job done i grabbed some a uh, floor cleaner because i'm almost out usually i use fabuloso but I used this spray in the spring scent from Clorox and it smells so good so I grabbed this it was like five bucks this is huge hundred flow ounces yeah so this will last me quite a bit grabbed one more thing of laundry soap just so we can have some extra some toilet run refills this is something I newly just started using and I love it I was going to order some on Amazon, but it was actually cheaper. I think at Dollar General, it was like five something, and then they had a coupon, 50 cents off any Clorox product. So I got 50 cents off of that. And then I got me some Swiffer dusters here because I don't have any. Now the most important part of all, if you guys have been shopping, you've noticed water and toilet paper it was going like hotcakes. So before they were literally out, we went to the store and we just kind of stocked up on it. We got five cases of water. We're very good on toilet paper. <laughs> Cutleaf might have went a little overboard, but worst case scenario, when all the craziness is over, we won't have to buy toilet paper for a very long time. Don't blame me. I'm blaming you. And then I grabbed two cases of diapers because diapers and wipes suddenly became non-existent they're literally like in no stores so target literally had two cases left online so i did the order pick up got those along with wipes because that's the last thing i want to do is run out of wipes and diapers right now especially with everything being out of stock and we just don't know how long until everything will be back in stock so even if you're not stocking up due to all of everything that's going on right now it's really good sometimes 
to even still just go get this stuff because we don't know when we're gonna have it again or how soon everything's gonna become available, especially online or in stores. So that was everything, you guys. All of the water, toilet paper, diapers, wipes, all the necessity, necessity pantry items and meats. I think we will be good hopefully for the next two weeks, especially since Lakin is officially out of school for the next two weeks and then he starts spring break right after. So he's gonna be home literally for the next month. Literally. So better safe than sorry. At least we'll be stocked up and he'll have plenty to eat since we will have more kids home versus just having typically Samir and Tank. We'll have the other two here since all of school and daycare is canceled.